Okay, we got a 2020 uh, Ford Utility Police Interceptor, and this is the, uh, the hybrid. And the complaint was that throughout the day, the fuel door keeps popping open. And on the 2020s and above, the fuel door isn't a pressed release. There's a button on, on the dash that releases it. And the problem that we were experiencing was that it kept uh, kept releasing. And then when the officers would go to fuel, they would hit the, the fuel door button, then it wouldn't open. So you have to use the manual release, which is uh, up under the wheel well. And then we found something interesting. So the vehicle was sent to um, local Ford dealer and they couldn't figure it out. They, they were able to confirm all the uh, check engine lights. And I think we had four or five trouble codes and they confirmed it and then they ended up changing the uh, the headlight switch uh, because that uh, that button for the fuel release door that that is actually part of the headlight switch of course I didn't fix it in fact when it when it came back to us the uh, fuel door was open and uh, we had all the check engine lights on so that was nice one so anyway I'm gonna leave the door closed and show you what we found okay so we're using the VCM 3 and we've got that plugged in and we've got it hooked up to our computer. One of the things we were looking at is the problem that we had, all the trouble codes were, were related to the EVAP system. And it was showing that, you know, the tank pressure was really high. So we didn't know if we actually had a, a high, you know, a tank that was getting ready to blow up on us or what. So um, anyway, while it was high, we went over there and see, to see if we could get some fuel in it and it took fuel no problem. So that told us it was electrical. We just happened to come to the uh, PCM and we checked all the wiring and there's a ground that all the trouble codes, they all have a, a, the same ground on this particular plug. Okay, so again, we're, we, we're just wiggling that plug. That's all we're doing. And look at the data on the screen. You can see, and you see the little red blocks that are coming up. Uh, that's showing us off scale. And you can also see the readings. And that was it. that would explain why we were showing like the evap pressure being too high you can see the scale it's just everything's going off scale high and again all we're doing is is wiggling that and we had it to the point where you could actually just tap on it with your finger and that would cause the same anomalies so it's either the wiring or the pcm <laughs> one of those and yeah, one last thing so just by wiggling that cannon plug, you can see our field door opened up again too.